What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So I have been on Motive staff since June of 2018. And since that time, I have drilled so many bowling balls. And on today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys what my top five favorite balls since, uh, since joining the Motive staff. So the only balls that I'm gonna be considering for this top five are balls that were released after I signed. So the list of balls that were available, it's a lot of them was the Hydra, Rogue Blade, Trident Abyss, Villain Scorn, T10, Forge, Golden Jackal, Venom Recoil, Covert Tank, Ripcord, Rogue Assassin, Forge Fire, Tank Blitz, Supra, Alpha Jackal, Trident Nemesis, Ripcord Flight, Desert Tank, Thrill, Jackal Flash, EJ VIP, Fatal Venom, Forge Flare, Jackal Legacy, Purple Tank, Trident Horizon, VIP Affliction, and the Ripcord Velocity. Now, in order to make the top five, it has to be balls that I'm still currently throwing. So for example, a ball like the Rogue Blade was a ball that I threw all the time when it first came out, but it just doesn't see any lane time for me anymore. So because of that, it won't make the list. Let me know down below in the comments, which is your top five balls of all time. Down below in the description, I have a link to my Patreon, as well as links to all the balls you're gonna see in this video, which if you guys like this video, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And then if you like this jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, you can head on over to coolwick.com and use my promo code MOTIVELOOP10 and that'll get you 10% off your entire order. I'm gonna take you guys out on the lanes now so we can start this top five. So coming in at number five on our list is the Ripcord Velocity. Now, I'll be honest, the only reason that this ball's number five is because it's brand, brand new. And in the limited amount of time that I've been using it, I absolutely love this ball. Now, one thing I failed to mention in the intro is that we're not bowling on a typical house shot. We're bowling on Big Ben, which is 44 feet. There's a senior doubles tournament going on and they had a couple extra lanes. So it's, I'll put it up in the thumbnail and I'll put it up here somewhere, but it's 44 feet, basically like a house shot. It's called a challenge pattern. So we'll see, first shot here. I actually like that the pattern's a little longer so it won't hook quite as much as the regular house shot here does. So that shot on the typical house shot here goes runaway Brooklyn 100%. But because the pattern is a little bit longer than normal, it is gonna hold a little bit, which is why it held. On this next shot here, I definitely wanna make sure I get the ball going right a little bit more. So beyond just showing you guys all these shots, I do wanna talk about why these balls are on my list. Now this ball's on my top five for one simple reason. It's the most angular ball that Motive has ever made. So when I have to get left and create shape, it's when it looks the best. Because it's at number five, I am throwing it on the fresh, but typically this would be like a game three, game four ball. So on the fresh, it doesn't look quite as good as I would like it to, but it still gets the job done here. Oh yeah, slap out the nine. And that's what I really like about it. The ball's really, really long. And yeah, I am bowling on a longer pattern, so it is gonna get down lane further anyway, but the shape that it created is exactly what I'm looking for. And that's why it's number five on my list. So. I mean, two shots in, I, I hope you guys can already see why I like this ball so much. So this, you know, I'm just gonna throw another shot from here before we get into the number four spot. And I promise you guys that this top five is gonna be, you guys aren't, aren't gonna expect what you're gonna see or what you're not gonna see. Oh, I guess I gave it away just by saying that. But these are my top five and they're, it's for a reason. So yeah, so that's, okay, so the pattern, the pattern is 44 feet, like I said, and I got it right. If that was on the burn, game three, game four, it might've come around it, but because, you know, it is the fresh, it, there's no way that if I miss right, it's gonna come around it. So now we're gonna get into the number four spot. So coming in at number four on the list is the Venom Recoil. Now, this is the oldest ball on my top five. But man, I love this ball. And it's probably a better option on the fresh than the number five spot, the Velocity. But I like this ball anytime we're bowling on a lot of friction, shorter patterns, when urethane isn't in play. To me, that's when this ball gets seen the most amount of play, and I love it for that reason. So it's also one of the slowest response balls we have. It's not gonna be very angular at all. So when, when there's friction, this thing is really good. Oh, I thought I was gonna kick out the nine pin. 
But as you can see already, the recoil is way earlier, way smoother off the spot than the Velocity, which makes for a really good option on the fresh when there's a lot of friction. I'm actually gonna move a little bit left off that shot just to really show you guys the beauty of this, rip, of this uh, Venom recoil. Now, I said beauty when talking about this uh, recoil, and that's for a reason. There's something like beautiful or poetic almost about how unique this ball motion is. So let's get back here on the lanes and show you guys a really good shot here. Okay, so I'm running into quite a bit of transition already. So I'm gonna have to make a pretty big move left, even because that last shot was only like two and one left. I'm gonna have to make a pretty big move left already. So this ball being number four, obviously it's one of my favorite balls. And I really want to show you guys why, because the first two shots I think were a, uh, not in the right, right part of the lane. <clears throat> so I'm gonna move a little bit further left, show you guys here a good one. So I flat tend, that was a much, much, much better shot. And maybe those three shots weren't the perfect example of why I love this ball so much. Mostly operator error, or actually 100% operator error, because those last three shots weren't all that great. But now we're gonna get into our top three. So this is gonna be the big surprise in the video. I got the purple tank in at number three instead of the desert tank. And that's because when I'm bowling on short and I need a urethane shape, the desert tank just ain't it for me. I know, I know, big, uh, big surprise here. But desert tank won't be on the list, it'll be the purple instead. Now I wonder how this is gonna roll here on this little bit longer of a pattern here than, than the typical house shot. So yeah, quite a bit of friction to the right. I'm definitely gonna have to move left and maybe just parallel everything in left a little bit. Execution was pretty good, I think. I just wrong part of the lane. So now we're gonna reset it and throw another full rack. And you know, a lot lately, I've been seeing more and more of the professional bowlers using urethane on these longer patterns. And I guess it's to avoid having to do this a whole lot. So I'm just gonna move a little bit left off that last shot and just try to see if it'll look pretty good on this little bit longer of a, of a pattern here. Yeah, keeping it in the oil a little bit longer was a really, really good thing. Obviously, I had to leave the Samstown 7. I wouldn't leave one if it's not, you know, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't leave one. So on that next shot, I'm gonna move one more left just to keep it in the oil a little bit longer. But I kind of like what I see. I hope you guys do too. So this will be the last shot here with the purple. I am very surprised at how much this ball is hooking on what we're bowling on. So like I said, I'm gonna move like one left just to keep the ball in the oil a little bit longer. And hopefully this will be it right here. I can end this uh, strikeless streak here. Yeah, that was exactly it. Moved a little bit in, kept it in the oil a little bit longer, and it still came around the corner, went through the pins. And obviously I'd prefer the purple tank on shorter patterns with you know obviously but even on this 44 foot pattern it did look pretty pretty good now we're going to get into the top two so the number two ball on the list is the jackal legacy now what do you guys think is going to be number one comment down below and let me know and also let me know what you thought my top five would have been because going into it before i started really thinking about it i had a completely different top five until i started writing it down doing my research which ones i like and the, you know, I, I like this list quite a bit. So here we are with the Jackal Legacy. Strong, strong ball. Very smooth, which is why I like it. So yeah, that ball, <laughs> that ball hooks quite a bit. But what I really like about, about it is that it's strong enough to handle that oil in the middle part of the lane and it hooks, but it doesn't like boom like some of the more angular balls. To me, it's like one of the best balls that I can throw on the fresh. Obviously, we're not bowling on the fresh right now because I've bowled X amount of shots already. So off that last shot, I'm gonna move like three left and just keep it in the oil and trust that the strength of the cover is gonna allow it to handle that volume. 
So like I said, we're gonna chase it a little bit left. I'm probably gonna go like three and two left and just move everything a little bit further into the oil. And hopefully that'll be enough to get it to not hook as violently in the back part of the lane. Much, much better shot, but left a kind of weird six pin. So again, I'm just gonna keep chasing that a little bit further left into more oil until I can get it to stop doing this as violently. So this will be the last shot here with the Legacy. I was just telling my beautiful camera person, my wife, that I'm throwing really, really good shots. I feel like my execution has been really good. A couple that weren't so good. Just can't find the right line to get these balls to really strike. And it's partly because I wasn't expecting there to be a pattern put out, but man, I feel like I'm executing really well and just not being able to strike. So let's see right here, last shot with the Legacy. Okay, so it figures that one of my worst executed shots strikes. But hey, that's the part of bowling. You can throw a perfect shot and not strike and throw a eh, shot like that one and knock them all down. So now we're gonna go to the number one ball. The number one ball since I've been on staff, since June of 2018. It's about three years now, three years in a month, three years in a couple months, whatever it is. This is my favorite ball since then. All right, so the number one ball since I have been on motor staff, Trident Horizon. This combination of core and cover and my game and how versatile this ball is, is just easily far and away my favorite ball that I've ever had since I've been on staff. And it's one of my favorite bowling balls of all time. So here we are on this 44 foot Big Ben pattern. See if I can show you guys why this is my favorite ball right here. A lot of trust, a lot of faith in this ball. Whew. Money, 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 money. When it's all said and done, this horizon is going to end up being maybe my favorite motive ball of all time. It's just so incredibly versatile. It's really strong, so it can handle the oil, but it shapes really hard because it has a very high RG and it's a hybrid cover. There's not enough good things that I can say about this ball. If I'm bowling for score, 100 times out of 100, there's gonna be a Trident Horizon in my bag. So we're gonna show you guys a couple more shots here with the Horizon. Man, I love this ball. I mean, there's no other way to really explain it besides I love this ball. I super match up with it. It's been an absolute go-to for me for a, a while now. Well, since I got it. Okay, I think that's why I like it so, so much right there. I missed right, no question about that. And it still came around the corner pretty hard and four pinned. A lot of the other balls I threw today, if I miss right like that, no chance. That ball still had a chance. So one more shot with the number one ball, the Trident Horizon. All right, here we are. Last shot of the video. Here's to making it a good one. Execution's gonna be there. Hopefully I can put it in the right part of the lane to get this to go through the pins like I know it can. <laughs> well, you gotta save the best for last apparently because that was far and away the best shot I have thrown this entire video and it went through the pins as beautifully as I could have ever asked for. So seriously guys, I wanna know, let me know in the comments what you thought my top five was gonna be and how it differed from what it actually was. Until next time. There you have it, folks. There's my top five motive balls of the last couple of years. Let me know down below in the comments what your top five, uh, five balls are. Click right here to watch one of my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Until next time.